Hey royalties, kings and queens, it's the mother hawk season and Mama Tina Noah has had enough as she recently spoke out in defense against critics talking about Beyonce's light skin or white girl look from the silver carpet photo captured from her renaissance film premiere. Mama Tina is not playing and she's speaking her piece even though she knows Beyonce would not like that. But before we watch Mama Tina shatter this table, be sure to like this video if you find it interesting and if you're new, you're so welcome. Please consider being a part of us by hitting the subscribe button and turn on the post notification bell to not miss another video. And to my returning subscribers, you guys, you know already you are the real MVP. Thank you. Okay, let's get into this. Beyonce, who recently had her Renaissance tour BTS documentary film premiere, brought in quite the star crowd from OG Destiny Child members like Toyo Lockett, Kelly Rowland, Lactavia Robertson, Michelle Williams, Looking All Fly and Reunited at the event, and also more guests like Chris Jenner, Lizzo, Tia Mori, Lori Harvey, Gambo, Issa Rae, Gabrielle Union, Tyler Perry, Vanessa and Natalia Bryant, Lupita Young, Chloe and Halle Bailey to name but a few. Although Jay-Z, Blue Ivy and the twins were not photographed at the event, but viewers will be sure to get a full glimpse of the Carter family when the Renaissance store hits the theater. Now, the host Beyoncé showed up in an icy blonde hair and a silver Versace dress and with her stunning photos that hit the internet, she had the public talking about how whitewashed she looked. Some of those comments are, this user say, people convincing themselves that Bay has always been disliked is another side of delusion, but I, another user says, didn't recognize her, thought she was a Kardashian. And another person says, LOL, it's cultural appropriation when Kim does it, it's winter when Beyonce does it. Laugh out loud. Another user say, where did her melanin go? Although from the photo she looked lighter compared to other brown skinned people who also took photos and on the same spot, but then again it could be the edits and many other factors but as soon as Mama Tina got to wind of this, she said hell no, I'm gonna address this. So she took to her Instagram where she put up a video compilation of Beyonce's old videos showing off her brown skin with a brown skin music as the background track and a long caption to complement it. And here's where the caption reads. It reads, came across this today and decided to post it after seeing all of the stupid, ignorant, self-hating, racist statements about her lightening her skin and wearing platinum hair, wanting to be white. She does a film called The Renaissance where the whole team is silver with silver hair, a silver carpet and suggested silver attire. You bozos decided that she's trying to be a white woman and bleaching her skin. How sad is it that some of her own people continue the stupid narrative with hate and jealousy. Duh, she wore silver hair to match her silver dress as a fashion statement clown. Alien superstar, duh. What's really sad is that a white woman had the audacity to reach out to Neil Beyonce's hairstylist. She was from TMZ to say that the fans are saying that she wants to be white and she wanted to get statement about it from Neil. Well, that made my blood boil. That this white woman felt so entitled to discuss her blackness. What's really most disappointing is that some black people, yes you bozos that's on social media, lying and faking and acting like you're so ignorant that you don't understand that black women have worn platinum hair since the Edda James days. I just went and looked at all the beautiful talented black celebrities who have worn platinum hair and it has been just about every one of them at one time or another. Are they all trying to be white? I am sick and tired of people attacking her. Every time she does something that she walks her axe on for and it's a statement of her work ethic, talent and resilience. Here you sad little haters come out the woodwork, jealousy and racism, sexism, double standard, you perpetuate those things instead of celebrating a sister or just ignoring if you don't like her. I am sick of you losers. I know that she's going to be pissed at me for doing this but I'm fed up. This girl minds her own business. She helps people whenever she can. She lifts and promotes black women and underdogs at all times. That was a long read but a mother is always gonna have her daughters back and you better don't play with mothers. Even if the kids want to be all nice and no trouble seeking, most celebrities and people supported Tina Norris in her comments. 
Like Tommy Roman replied, I hate you even had to address this, but they gonna learn to respect you, gangster. Hashtag mama bear. Octavia Spencer replied, at Miss Tina Noah's, you have raised beautiful, strong, intelligent, black, proud to be black women, period. Anyone who says otherwise has their own issues to deal with. I'm sorry you've come across this negative comments that people don't realize is a reflection of how they feel about themselves. Cynthia Rivo dropped a comment, snaps to all this, you have every right to stand behind your baby girl, love you, heart, heart, heart. And Lactavia replies, she said, educate them, they always try to break the black woman, especially one they feel intimidated by the true definition of a protector. And then Nisi Gilbert replied, people gonna learn about mamas and what they don't play about. Heart, heart. Well, well, Tina Norris has spoken and perhaps to be continued. But what are you taught you guys? Do you think she should not have spoken up for Beyonce and maintain Beyonce's silence treatment to criticism? Or do you also agree with the people that she looked way lighter in the photos compared to how she used to look or really looked? Well, apart from minding the business that pays us all, which I'm doing right now. <laughs> I've never been a fan of colorism and racism and would never be and don't support dragging people because of how their skin looks either they're not black enough or white enough or not acting black enough this is some of the struggles mixed kids and some brown kids who are kind of a little bit lighter than the typical brown kid have had to go through or carry with them all their lives like it's not even necessary but you guys it's a respectable and free zone here so again feel free to share your thoughts i like to hear your opinion from all that is said so far well that's it pretty much on this video if you got to this point of the video do not forget to like share subscribe and turn on the post notification bell to not miss another video and until the next one remember to pray work out work smart and slay <laughs> bye bye